Hey there, so as a follow up to my initial video on the Alienware AW3225QF, I want to post an update and explain why I sent it back after a week. So here we go. So the impression the so the impressions I gave in the um in the first video when I just got the monitor, I think feel still feel pretty good. Um I think that what changed was just my expectations and my needs after sort of like really reviewing it and thinking about how I might use this. So going in, I had an LG C2 42 inch, uh, an HP Omen QS 27 inch. Um, and so the 42 inch is my, my go-to monitor for almost everything. Occasionally um, for gaming or for streaming, I'll pull in the 27 inch and it it's a nice little monitor, right? The color is super inaccurate, but it's fun for for competitive games, right? But usually almost everything is on the C2. And so my initial feelings about the C2 were maybe it was like too big. Um, I've had it for a while, but I like it a lot. I just, you know, really in my mind was like, you know, I want something a little bit smaller, something that doesn't have to be so far away from me, you know, those kinds of things. So the Alienware looked perfect for me. And when I got it, I really liked it. And um, I still do. And I still think it's right for a lot of people. I, there's like three reasons, right? And or like three sort of facets that I sort of changed my opinion on and I'll break those down and those are sort of like the the rationale for why personally it didn't work well for me um so let's dig into those first let's talk about form factor so in order to replace both the 27 and 42 inch I have right I would need some kind of unicorn monitor that um feels incredibly speedy and snappy for competitive games but also you know, provides that feeling of immersion for um, other games. Now, I think I'd be willing to give up the immersion piece if something just felt so snappy and so like a huge upgrade from 120 hertz OLED, right? And so 240 hertz OLED, while the motion clarity is there, and we'll talk about motion clarity in a second, the 32 inch size is a little weird, right? At least for me, um, I came I came from a 24 inch 1080p gaming lifestyle. And so moving up to 42 inches, while it took some time, right? Um, I always sort of, I just sort of changed, I sort of changed the way I considered it, but 27 inches, right? Is why I have the Omen, right? It, it, it looks horrible, the Omen, <laughs> as far as like color accuracy, I have to do a lot of tweaks just to make it sort of usable. But at the same time that the 27 inches just sort of um, feels really good for competitive gaming, right? And so the 32 inches, I think is a little too big and um even like the i think the the slight bend to the edge helps right i think that um the curve is actually in this particular instance maybe not neutral and actually a little bit of a positive because um it helps with your peripheral vision a bit but i think ideally i would like to have and maybe i just need to always have two monitors right maybe i need like a 27 and something else um that's not to say um, I couldn't be persuaded on almost anything. Yeah, so I think the form factor ended up being a con for me um, in so much as it couldn't really replace the 42 and the 27, so it would meant, it meant that I would have to keep one of those, which, you know, from just from, like, my budget standpoint doesn't make a lot of sense, right, for me to, like, own two expensive monitors right now. So that's one. Um... Two, we can talk about HDR, so it's sort of a, I guess, a hot topic, but realistically, I love, like I said, I love the, the like, what I was getting out of the, the Alienware, right, when I was playing it. I did mention in my, sort of, preview video that some games, the HDR didn't feel great. I'd say washed out maybe a little bit too harsh of a term, but the blacks just, and I don't know if this is QD OLED technology in general, um, but when you look at it compared to the C2, right, like, the blacks just do not feel as inky. The whites do not feel as bright in small areas. And the difference right on screen, when you have a dark scene and some light moments, right? It just looks so much better um, to me personally on the C2. Um, motion clarity. So motion clarity was like one of the major reasons I got this monitor. Um, and doing the head to head with the C2, I mean, it really beats it in motion clarity. Um, that being said, the C2 is no slouch, right? Like an OLED at 120 Hertz performs really well, right? Just the OLED technology means that tracking enemies, 
um, background blur and movement, like all those things um, make the game feel a bit snappier. Um, and so in doing a direct comparison, which is what I was doing initially, right? In that direct comparison, it was like really obvious that like looking at games like Overwatch, right? Uh, the motion clarity was like a lot better. It just felt a lot smoother, snappier, real. Um, I don't know. It's hard to describe right in words, but it, it just felt better. Um, so that was sort of my my main anchor point for like taking the the Alienware and sort of selling the C2, right? Um, and so then as I sort of like took some time with to, to play on the Alienware, took some time to play on the C2, the reality was I didn't notice it so much in like sort of actual everyday gaming. Like if I um, wanted, if I distinctly do not want 42 inches, which, you know, I think a lot of people probably don't, right? Uh, I didn't at first and I, I'm still not completely sold that that's like the, you know, the best size um, and it's why I have a 27 inch sort of like appendage sticking out over here. It's because like the 42 inch doesn't, you know, scratch all the itches. That being said, I'm not sure what this, what the solution is. Um, but yeah, pretty simply, um, I think if you, um, if you're going to buy a new monitor right now, the Alienware or the C2, I think that form factor, um, and HDR experience should probably be the things you care about the most. Um, motion clarity, it's hard for me to say um, if it's actually gonna, if you're actually gonna notice a much difference between the C2 and the um, Alienware. If you're looking for something that's 32 inches or, or smaller, then I think the Alienware offerings are amazing. Um, of course, there's lots of new monitors coming out this year, so we'll have to see how those um, compete, especially from like a brightness level, but yeah, that's my take. Just wanted to give you guys a quick follow up to uh, the last video I made. So ask questions in the comments and we can uh, we can chat about it. Thanks.